Hey guys, welcome back. If you prefer to go on home study to take the initiative again in the second wave of coronavirus, so my channel, iEnglish, can help you understand the given course books at a school. Let's start our class. Here we go. Energy and muscles. What makes our muscles work? Energy in food makes our muscles work. Let's analyze this sentence. Energy in food makes our muscles work. Energy is a simple subject, as we studied simple subject in a previous video before. To remember simple subject, please watch the video of simple subject versus complete subject again. Click on the right top video over here. Now, if I ask you, what does energy in food make? Yeah, energy in food makes our muscles work. Makes here is calling grammar, simple predicate, or a verb. For sure is not enough answer to say energy in food makes. So you are in need to give further information to complete your answer by saying energy in food makes our muscles work. Makes our muscles work is called in grammar complete predicate. So we can deduce together that the simple predicate is the main word or words in the complete predicate. And now let's compare between complete predicate and simple predicate. Let's see the differences. When we compare the two given examples, energy should be saved and energy should be saved for the rest of the match. In the first example, energy should be saved should be saved is good simple predicate but in the second example energy should be saved for the rest of the match should be saved for the rest of the match is complete predicate well done and now let's search for the complete predicate in this example many plants grow in the rainforest remember the complete predicate includes the verb and all the words that tell what the subject is or what the subject does. So the complete predicate here starts from grow in the rainforest. And now tell me if you can find the simple predicate. Remember, the simple predicate is the main word or words in the complete predicate. So what is the simple predicate in this example? Good job. Grow. Verb grow. Welcome back again. Hope that you've enjoyed today's lesson. Please feel free to leave your question in the comments below. And finally, I'd like to thank you very much for watching, supporting, sharing, and for caring.